guys, I'm Jeremy on occasion, and today we are carrying on a Demon Hunters campaign, and we did just finish, uh, our, I mean, I guess our first big chapter finale thing. Um, I don't really know what's coming next. I'm not really sure how the rest of this campaign is going to be structured. Uh, also, I've never lingered around the screen so long that the music stopped. <laughs> I just had to start again. Do you notice that abrupt stop? I don't think I don't think anyone's supposed to loiter here. I've got to make a cup of tea and come back, like to do the next episode, you know? Um, yeah, because I couldn't save it. I don't have to cutscene, so I had to, I had to stay here. So you know, we'll see, right? Welcome back, guys. Oh, and there's Vakir. I was gonna say, did, I mean, did Vakir not come with us? <laughs> there she is. All right, so apparently we've purged the corruption in this area, which doesn't make a lot of sense, because this planet is literally just the, the ship, right? And we didn't cleanse it, I don't think. Unless, unless Drago has wiped everything out, I don't know. But we got 11 seeds out of this, which is pretty impressive. Now I think we have like 50 of them, which is absurd. And we got a bunch of requisition and maybe some armor and stuff? I don't know, let's find out. We have seven requisition, which is quite nice. It's quite good. Uh, a rank four purgator, I don't think we need another one. Uh, Radiant protector. So, extra resistance and extra HP, but that's it. I mean, it's pretty nice. And then we have this, which is uh, a Psychotroke, or a Psych Hot Roke, a Psychotroke Grenade Tier 1. Blast area. Uh, oh, it, cra it makes people crazy. It's a craze grenade. That's very funny. I was going to say, it looks, with all the neon, it looks sort of... Um, uh, just, I don't know, like a rave. <laughs> like it's got that sort of 80s look to it. So yeah, the idea of making everyone go crazy. Um, yeah, this is clearly recreational. Uh, all right, we have this, Scorn. Scorn costs only one, actually. It's, it, oh, it's a tier one, but this upgrade is tier three. I always look at these top bits. I'm thinking how much they're gonna cost when you actually have to look at the lower bits. So anyway, whatever. So we have just the one thing that's fairly good, which is the armor, which isn't terrible. It's not great. I mean, I guess the psychotrope grenade is quite fun to have. That is quite fun to have. That could be a bit of a giggle. That's a nice way to buy time, actually. That is a nice way to buy time. Like, if there's a whole mess of enemies, um, then we can just use that, like, and... An... I mean, area two isn't huge, though. It seems like an interesting thing to have in the tool belt. But having an extra four health? No, we're just gonna go with the grenade and call it a day. I know, it's, yeah, nothing too special. So we did get some injuries. And we, wow, okay, our Purgator and Justicar. 900 experience each, that's insane. Um, all right, our Interceptor, let's see what you've got for me. So I can do extra damage on the teleport strike, which I quite like, uh, and add two damage to each target to this attack. Yeah, you can attack a few people, huh? With with a teleport attack, select any number of targets on a valid destination within ra uh, range ten. Do four damage. It's very cool. So yeah, I do need to make use of this to attack more than one target. That's for sure. And doing more damage, brilliant. Building against more range, that's really good too. That is really good. But yeah, I think just the extra damage. Because that, what, 8 damage total from this attack, which is insane. So 8 damage total to several in range. Also, getting a silencer with this guy would be pretty cool. Because a silencer, that's got the scatter shot. So I could actually teleport to a position where I can line up the scatter shot really well. Which is also very cool. God, there's some good stuff. And I still haven't done the swap allies thing once yet. I haven't thought to teleport forward, swap my ally, so I have the guy with the silencer in the front line or anything like that. So I really should, really should do something about that. Also, getting extra crit damage 
with my melee weapons. That's all really cool as well. Seeing as how I can get instant crit, so just getting more crit damage would be wild. In fact, I think that's probably... Oh, I have to get to that one. Oh, I would like to get a better teleport attack. You know what? We're doing this this turn. We'll do those two the next time he levels up. Oh, like, what's this one? Cleansing Strike. That's quite cool as well. Could purge enemy mutations by attacking them. That's quite cool. Oh, the actual range is good. Okay, so you know what? I've come I've come to realise that everything is good. Support and fire as well, really handy. Yeah, it turns out just all of the skills are good. I know, it's madness. Uh, like here, gaining additional armour when I use my Aegis. Really handy. A lot of handy stuff. But no, we're going to do that. And let's promote out of Carry as well. So we were going to go more ammo, weren't we? For servo skulls. So that'll do. That'll do too. So biomancy abilities target any range. When we use the Apothecarian Skull. Which I'm thinking we don't actually need. Because I don't have any biomancies yet. So just Servo Skulls gaining an extra two ammo each. The fact we can equip two. Um, well, a Servo Skull and an additional thing. Which could be another Servo Skull. That's sort of insane. That's kind of awesome. Very handy indeed. Cool. God, I got a squad. What a squad. And yes, uh, Kartha Vakir has max. She's max level at rank 9, apparently. We'll be there soon. has kindled this bloom, causing it to spread with a virulence previously unseen. Our astropaths have augured entirely new strains taking root, different from the putrid phage we've seen before. Objection. We are not equipped for a protracted campaign. I have already requisitioned further support from Grandmaster Kai. In the meantime, we are the only force in the region capable of contending with this threat. As for our companion... Inquisitor Vakia is meditating within the Libris. Hiding, more like. Perhaps you would both benefit from a moment in the contemplation chamber. If you would give me leave, Commander, I would attend to our Inquisitor personally. Nav servitors are cogitating. Okay, Commander, the Bloom has infected new corners of the sector. I've expanded the star map accordingly. Oh, pish. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, you know, I thought, I thought it would just be the middle. I thought it would just be the middle. Now that we put this here. Right, now we've got our, our what's a jig here. I realise that this is necessarily <clears throat> uh, the best spot for it. Although I guess maybe it still is. On there, on there. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to cover the whole map, are we? We'll just have to do the inner ones, knowing that those will be the ones that will be passing through the most. But God, new strains. There's a weird red one up there, a purple one, a yellow one, a blue one, and then we have all the green ones in the middle. God, it's so cool. Anyway, uh, yep, confirmed to join the others in the Libris. Let's go. Dominus, Purifier. Ah, the things I've learned. Order is eroding, Inquisitor. Yet you sound ecstatic. You misread me, Knight. What we did was necessary. I am simply eager to move forward. Forward? We face the destruction of this sector. That conclusion is uncertain. Yes, exactly. Listen to the venerable tech priest. We can't waste time lamenting a few minor setbacks. Setbacks? Do you have any idea what your- What our intrusion did was awaken the Bloom's germinating seeds. While this may have had the side effect of activating new strains of the Bloom, we have disrupted the Plague God's plans. Pure speculation. You exalt your carelessness as a triumph. This conversation vector is unproductive. I will speak more directly then, for the warriors among us. 
Your Grandmaster Kai had it right in one respect. The bloom is quite similar to other plagues of Nurgle we've encountered. What is unique is the vector through which it spreads. And that is? Reapers, powerful demons, incubated within the heart of that craft world. Each possesses a unique seed of immeasurable foulness, a prime seed, which carries a unique strain of the virus. The warp energy required to properly birth such demonic force into our space would be massive, but our, no, my intervention disturbed them before they were fully mature. That leaves them vulnerable. How can you be so certain? When I touched the Infinity Circuit, its avatar stirred for a moment, sharing a crucial insight. These Reapers can travel the arcane networks of the Aldari to spread this plague to different solar systems. We have already seen the results. Once a Reaper seeds a planet, the bloom festers and grows until our prognosticars detect its presence, often too late for us to effectively intervene. Contention! Bloom activity appears localized. Why would they not spread to all corners of the galaxy? You make an excellent point, Dominus. I do not believe spreading this virus is the final goal. The Avatar spoke of the Morbus, an event of apocalyptic implications. Five Reapers to open five charred gates. Then the Morbus will come. And you would have us trust this Xenos delusion. The Avatar was weak but uncorrupted. Revenge is a motive crossing all genetic boundaries. You have a point. I suppose you also have a plan. Yes. Destroy the five Reapers. Without them, the bloom cannot spread. Challenge. The Baleful Edict cannot travel the Aldari webway. No, we cannot. I will need a tool to track them by their sickly psychic stench. Impractical. We possess no artifact capable of detecting such profane spiritual resonance. Are you so certain? A shard of Wraithbone, pried from the Infinity Circuit that incubated the very evil we now face. I can bind the Bloom Seeds to this vessel and hunt the foul Reapers by their psychic scent. Corrupt energies, Xeno Archaeotech. Inquisitor, you stand on the precipice of heresy. I, no, we, stand on the precipice of victory, Ektar. Would you honestly prefer we defy the direct orders of your chapter, Lord? No, but I will be watching you, human. Spare me your preening, Knight. Once I forge this tool, a uh, Codex Toxicus, will fall upon these Reapers with the wrath of the God Emperor himself. Very cool stuff. So I'm assuming. Uh, wow, all the way down here, huh? The Codex Toxicus. And we do have... We have some new um, stratagems as well. And look at that, we have Zero, D Dolores, Tentarus, Mortis, and Necrosis Seeds. And these are all going to offer uh, different mutations and things to our enemies. So even the enemies we've already been fighting are going to have a bunch of new fun you know, quirky toys, supposedly. Thanks to all this stuff. Because, you know, Poxus, it describes Poxus as like, you know, the, the warp surges are unique to Poxus. It describes what it does because of that. And uh, because of that strain. So the other strains should do something different. I can't wait to find out what. Also, I'm terrified. Gain 100% resistance for three turns and purify. That's pretty good. So if the whole map gets covered in that, like, horrible scummy nonsense, then... Yeah, these guys can uh, can resist it. I like that. All knights gain the crit. Oh yeah, yeah all the usual. Uh, all the fallen knights recover immediately with 50% max HP. So it just picks everyone back up, I suppose. That's fine, I guess. Cost a couple of them, though. The Tentara seeds. Uh, it's going to cost three of the Dolores. I mean, that's still going for 20, 20 days or 28 days. I can never tell what's a zero and what's an eight. Not a clue. Anyway, uh, and okay, this one, the Codex Toxic is going to cost one of each. So that's interesting. So we are going to have to fight a bit of everything. But the fact this is so far down, 
makes me wonder what the plan is. I imagine that, uh, yeah, seeing how this branches into five, I imagine this is basically chapter two, is just bide our time, collect some seeds from various specimens, and then it'll be wipe out the five, you know, do the research on the five different reapers. So yeah, I think this is actually going to go quite some distance. Also, this is locked. I wonder what this is as well. God, there's going to be some cool stuff though. Oh, I'm looking forward to all this. Uh, bloom suppression. Warp surge per turn goes down some more. And we can put it down even further. That's useful. I, I imagine that this isn't like cumulative though. I imagine that's not cumulative. Uh, surge prevention. That's a stratagem you gain for doing this. Reduce warp surge by 100%. Interesting. Ah, so there's actually stratagems in this area too. And we do it, uh, reduce it by 100% for three turns. That's really cool. How cool. Alright, there's some interesting stuff kicking about. All Knights gain three willpower. Target Knight recovers all their willpower. There's some good stuff here. I can't believe how much stuff we've unlocked. Like, additional stuff we can do now. I feel like we've just opened up, like, the full game now. <laughs> After all this time. Yeah, this is a big campaign, huh? All Knights heal six. That's really good. Target enemy afflict dominated. 100% uh, for three turns. Uh, bloom excision. Target a blast over area four to purge. Fate target suits all mutations. That's quite good. All Knights purify and heal two. Fate Knights lose their afflictions. That's nice. All Knights gain three armor five turns. That's really good. I love all the art on these as well. Precision Bombard, target a blast over Area 4, deal 6 damage. I mean, that's okay, but quite cool to be able to bombard people from orbit. Area 4 is pretty huge, too. God, there's some cool stuff here. But let's talk to Fakir. The Baleful Edict is a large ship, Commander, and yet your presence is always here. Well, not always. What have you been playing? Anyway, uh, the hollow map flickers with countless incursions. We have our work cut out for us. Yes, the bloom has already spread its new tendrils to the furthest reaches of this sector. We have our work cut out for us. It really is. It's literally all along the edges of the new larger map that they all are, which is crazy. Uh, the Avatar spoke of Morbus. What do you know about it? Whatever it is, I believe it is dire. That is still unclear, but perhaps it is some type of massive dispersal. A tipping point, the bloom will reach beyond any ability to contain it. Whatever it is, I believe it is dire. We must find the means to stop it. And you believe the Codex Toxicus can stop this Morbus? No. I believe that I can stop this Morbus. The Codex is a tool to help us hunt down these Reapers, but it will be for you and your knights to destroy them. My brother Purifier distrusts you, should I? <laughs> Trust me or not, I serve the Imperium, same as you. I cannot tell you what to think. There are some within the Ordo who possess the power to alter thoughts. Sadly, I can only rely on logic and my own superior skills of observation to construct a convincing case to guide your decisions. All right, then. You obfuscate. The question remains. Can you be my trusted? My soul remains firm and always will. You Astartes are designed to obey, to respect the chain of command. As an Inquisitor, I must always question. The clue is in the title. That doesn't mean I am any less loyal to the Golden Throne. Yes, let us else. not waste our time. This Cadex we encountered on Usyria. It seems to know you. Give me a moment to scry my own memories. Uh, I've fought countless warp, spo uh, warp spawn in my career. This one, though, yes. He did name me personally, did he not? Give me a moment to scry my own memories. Inquisitor. Hush. Inquisitor Vakir? I said silence. Yes, <clears throat> I have encountered that creature before. Once he was a mortal, a transhuman at any rate. He fought during the Great Heresy, a captain of the Death Guard, to warrant such a presence. That is indeed a mighty undertaking by the Plague God. If you like. Well, he's dead now, so, you know. <laughs> Lol. Uh, how do you assess our progress, Inquisitor? I am impressed, Commander. The hammer falls and the plague god's minions scatter. You are worthy of your brotherhood. Should you maintain this level of lethality, you will return to Titan as heroes when we are done. Enough for now. The bloom festers. Alright, better chat to everyone else, huh? Hey, Lunette. The edicts of machine spirits are silent. 
I await your input. Dominus, have you seen the Inquisitor of late? Since her return from the craft world, she has not left the Libris. Ektar believes she conceals herself to mask the failure. And what do you believe? Emotional need for validation is for the unaugmented. Failure or success, such sentiment is irrelevant. What I have determined is that the Inquisitor is a tenacious individual. Her seclusion is the most efficient way for her to process strategies against the Bloom. Proceed. On the craft world, you spoke of Lord Drago with familiarity. I have memory fragments of Cardor as a mere Justicar. He is and remains a credit to you who are yet unaugmented. You fought alongside him then. I observed then that he was exceptional, even among the Grey Knights. Long before he became Supreme Grand Master, Kaldor joined forces with the Edict against the Heretic Prince Zurich. Zurich? I don't know, something. A self proclaimed demon mages of the Dark Mechanicum who had been spreading forbidden technology. We conferred often in the campaign, and I observed then that he was exceptional, even among the Grey Knights. How would he have handled the Bloom? Cardor was one for handling a threat personally, often eschewing his faithful brothers in defiance of logic. But he was exceptional, touched by your Emperor. We are not so blessed and must use traditional dogma to overcome this scourge. Box exchange parameters updated. <laughs> All right, for stats of our construction efforts. We have salvaged enough ocular surface in the Orgarium to support the required efficiency parameters. All that is required is for the array to be placed in the correct arrangement. This requires deep cogitations and a painful sacrament to the Omnissiah. It will be done. All praise to the Machine God! Uh, well, maybe not all. Talk to Ektar. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? <laughs> He's such a flirt. Uh, this plague has taken hold of the we sector. Are burdened with a grave duty, Commander. The Inquisitor's irresponsible acts have thrown Prometheum onto a burning pyre. You see, Brother Purifier, I can sense what it. What has that Emperor damned Inquisitor unleashed? She should have pointed us in the direction of the infection and moved on to let us carry out our holy duty. Her interference has put this entire campaign at risk. And yet the campaign persists. Yes, and now all our strength will be necessary to extinguish this contagion. Yes, if you like. We were fortunate that this, uh, that the Supreme Grand Master intervened on the craft world. Yes, we have been honored by Lord Drago's presence. He is trapped, doomed to wander the chaos wastes, but has been known to break into real space when the Brotherhoods of Titan are imperiled. Awesome. How did such a situation come to be? Caldor Drago vanquished a demon prince when he was a mere battle brother, and the prince cursed him in retribution. Some prognosticars believe the very same curse marked him for greatness. As a neophyte, we learned many tales of Lord Drago's victories. What you have heard is no exaggeration, but the truth. The previous Grand Master was struck down in battle by the demon Primarch of the Death Guard, Mortarion. Drago was in the same conflict and immediately elevated to lead the chapter. His very first act was to swear vengeance. He sought out Mortarion alone, smashed aside the traitor's bodyguard, felled Mortarion, and carved his predecessor's name into the Primarch's diseased heart. Why did he not kill the traitor? It is now impossible to slay Nurgle's favored. But I'd argue that Drago did far worse, an insult that will never heal. Mortarion has hated the Supreme Grand Master in all Grey Knights ever since. So it was the Primarch who bound Drago to wander the Chaos Realm? No, that was the Demon Prince who cursed our Lord back at the very start of his career. Drago returned to Acrelem two centuries later, fought the reborn creature and was triumphant. But this fulfilled the terms of the Demon's curse laid long ago. In its death throes, he cast Drago into the warp, exiling him to roam the Realm of Chaos. As you wish. That's pretty baller, the fact that we just like cool up the realm of chaos to be like, Hey Drago, how's it going? How's time? <laughs> it's pretty nuts. So, what do you think of my recent performance? Under your guidance, it is a proud day to be a Grey Knight.
Hooray. I envy our brothers their place on the battlefield, Commander. Hooray for Grey Pride. So, we have much to do. Uh, so we don't have another Prognostica yet. But we should soon, right? Ship status. Uh, yeah, the Algarium. Get another Prognostica. So we get another... F oh, we can get another five, actually. Yeah, we get three, and then the final one gives us another two. So that's not so bad. So we should be able to fill up most of the... most of the map with Prognosticars. I mean, we did seven planets there. So we'll do, like, another one here, another one there, there, maybe? This looks like a good spot, actually. We want three, uh, another seven, if we put one there. And that'll give us from, like, this to this all covered. Which is pretty good. Then, I don't know, maybe here. Perhaps. Yeah, maybe there. So we get, like, a pretty good stretch. Anyway, we need to figure out what we're doing. So, uh, this is still here. I guess everything, like, did, did all of the Nurgle stuff, like, leave? Is that the idea? We disturbed them, and so they had to, they had to flee? I don't know. Or, or was it literally the, the bit when the... <laughs> Because if you remember, towards the end of the last episode, when Dra uh, Drago appeared, he was just like, yeah, let's mess things up. And then it came back and there was just corpses everywhere. And apparently, like, we had killed everybody. <laughs> it was, you know, it was a bit weird that it didn't have us play any of that. So I don't know if he, if we killed the thousands that were on the ship. I don't know, it didn't really explain the status of the craft world anymore. It's a bit bizarre, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, all right, which I think we're going to have to advance time. I'll move here, just just so we can get out of this, you know, out of orbit of this craft world. And I know, I like the craft world isn't actually a world, but I guess you could orbit orbit it if it's large enough. Like it's called a craft world because the vessel is taking the place of a world. Oh, hi, hi, demonic invasion. Oh, that's fun. Love that. The warp Big storm fan. temporarily overloaded the ship's scalar field. Demonic incursions have occurred on multiple decks, with our <laughs> brothers sustaining significant injuries in the process. That's very cool. So, just traveling the warp is dangerous, and demons appeared. So, Commander, the warp storm temporarily overloaded the ship's scalar field. Demonic incursions have <laughs> occurred on multiple decks. So cool. And awful, but you know. So, who got injured? Anyone? Oh, actually, some... Cagulon, not Cagulon. Oh, well, in 19 days, I guess I get to say Cagulon's back, so that's something to look forward to. Uh, and Grandmaster, 31 days still. 31 days before he says hi. Well, all right then. Uh, I guess, I guess we'll sit tight. I guess we'll just sit tight. We just gotta wait for things to show up. Just gotta wait for things to show up. Orgarium should be finished soon, hopefully. And yeah, we'll try and... Intervention required. Oh god, what's happening? One of our brothers has been called to join the Paladins. He will require time off ship to complete his training. Have you taken leave of your senses? All of your knights are essential to this campaign. This is an important rite of passage for our brother. A Paladin could prove useful, even if we must do without him for some time. Commander, if this knight insists on proving his valor, why not direct him to fight the Bloom instead? This is interesting. So I don't know what'll happen if we let him go to become a paladin. I don't know if this will unlock like an advanced class, uh, or if it'll just give the knight a random trait. Um, can you remember we had we had like everyone have a fight <laughs> earlier? Um, like they did some like there was like a holiday or something. Where all the knights had some some fighting, you know, as a, a sport, and someone got a trait. Maybe it'll be like that. But I think, yeah, pursue the quest, I guess. To fight the bloom instead. I mean, yeah, I think we'll send AG Han. He's one of our OG guys. We'll send him to go do his quest, okay? He can go become a paladin, I guess. We must not stand in the way of destiny. Such a waste. I mean, all the knights are gonna get extra willpower though, which is pretty cool. Thanks to their high morale. They they like that one of their one of their number has been chosen for this role. That's cool. I like that. I do like these RPG elements. They are really fun. Add a lot of flavour. Uh so 
the Orgarium's capacity has been expanded. Initial projections sustain a 12.355 recurring percentile improvement to our mission success. A seemingly incredible number. Perhaps the Orgarium is no mere room full of mirrors. As Commander Agravain often noted, it is the unseen enemy who poses the greatest peril. Alright, let's upgrade something else. Can we? We have two servitors. Flippin' heck. Okay, we need more servitors. That's something we really need to prioritize. Also, our prognostic hours. Um, I feel like maybe that would be a good shout, and then we can do this one. Oh, I'll leave that one on its own, but I don't think that's a big deal, is it? I mean, this doesn't seem too bad. Uh... God. So that one's not going to be covered, which is annoying. And this one doesn't cover that. So we'd have to do that one too at some point. I think maybe we go right at the end here. Uh, so we cover this blue one. I kind of want to make sure that all of these, like, nodes are covered. Because they're already starting to kick up a fuss. I want to make sure those missions are pretty straightforward, right? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here. Then I'll probably do this one sometime. We're going to miss the odd. You know, there'll be a few that we'll miss, for sure. I think that's just... We can't really help that. This isn't bad, though. Except it misses this one. That is very annoying that it's there. Like, it, they knew that that would be in an awkward spot, didn't they? That's not terrible, either. Uh, I mean, this looks pretty good, too, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's quite good. Hmm. I think this might be the one we're going with. We're going to go here. Yep. Go nuts. That's fine. Okay, we've covered some more territory, and we've got the that ship covered, which I think is wise. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Okay, it's advanced time. Come on, missions. Purity seals, new use for the seeds. Oh. Oh, okay, so we had a purity seal. This was mentioned earlier, and I just didn't understand what it was on about. It's because that wasn't something we could do before. So that's good. So Inquisitor Vakir says, Commander, I have been studying my data for the uh, from the craft world and have found a new use for the bloom seeds. Brother Ektar has begrudgingly agreed to smelt them in the fires of purity until they turn to ash. But rather than casting the cinders into the ether, I will use them to create a sanctified ink that can be used to write holy psalms on purity seals to adorn your knight's arms and armor. New mutations. The threat is magnified, Inquisitor. I grow weary of your self-righteousness, Ektar. Ah, Commander. As predicted, the bloom is mutating. New and potent strains now plague the sector. Five distinct strains. We have already encountered the bloom I've called Popsis, the strain of disease. The infected do not perish, but are cursed with a blight that moulders even into their minds. This one I name Mortis, the strain of death. This noxious mutation annihilates entire populations before tearing the dead from their graves. Here is the bloom necrosis, the strain of decay. It binds itself to all things living and mechanical, rotting all it touches. Here, we have the Bloom Dolorous, the strain of agony. It emits a compound that afflicts hysterical delusions and nightmarish torment on its sufferers. Last and most insidious, the Bloom Tentarus, the strain of growth. This malady corrupts the purity of the human form with powerful mutations. A corrupt gift from the Plague God. Your taxonomy has been enlightening, Inquisitor, but the bloom continues to spread as we dither in details. We must respond at once. Or new missions. 
Oh dear. So of course, uh, if we leave the you know a mission and we fail, then it's going to put up the corruption in that area. So suddenly we're kind of on the clock because we can't do all of these missions. So this is a bit scary. Um, our prognostica choir has detected the presence of four new eruptions of bloom activity across this sector. We've informed Titan and must act on these new incursions to the best of our ability. I need the seeds intact for further study. I'm sure you do. Uh, so, huh, I guess this has the blue one, right? Uh, yeah, look, it's all neighbours of the these new spots. So, let's start here, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any way we can reach more than one. Maybe here. And then maybe we can get to, like, that one afterwards, but probably not. Yeah, I think this might be the only one we can reach. Well, we can reach any one, basically. Eliminate all seed carriers. And kill four enemies with a grenade weapon. We can give that a go. So, easy. It's going to be easy. Right, danger level's low. And different type of seed, which is brilliant. Uh, we'll also get some more requisition. However, I might. That's requisition. Stop offering me requisition. Uh, don't use mastercrafted weapons. That sucks a bit, because it gives us a grimoire, though, for extra fast tech and servitors. This is what we need. And win without mastercrafted weapons again. That's quite annoying. I think we're going to do it with mastercrafted weapons, just so we can speed through it and, uh, yeah, and get the servitors. I think that's the way we're going to do this. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it that way. Grimoires would be nice, though. See, I think we're doing that one. Oh my god, I would love to go there first, but I just don't see that as an option. I just don't see us being able to get that. Like, none of these are covered, except this one. But that's the one we're closest to. Ugh, so annoying. Yeah, none of them are covered by prognosticars. It's okay, we're going to the furthest one, so we're definitely just giving up any hope of getting a second, but we need some servitors more than anything else. So we're traveling there. Let's just hope nothing delays us. And yeah, the strain is going to spread. Bunch of new sectors. Uh, we got another stratagem slot. Provided with prognostic cars in that region. So pretty good, you know, conditional, but useful. Commander, I have been reading up on the sanct uh, sanctic disciplines of your chapter. The premises are familiar, but your librarians take them in some novel directions. I have already adapted one method for use against the bloom. Your prognosticars would exploit the ship's geller field to stretch the cracks in the uh, bloom's tormic field. Alright, more research then. Uh, preferably something we can do. That would be good. Alright, so we just slow down warp surge again? That's only if we have Prognosticars present again, though. Let me just go ahead. Uh, I'd love to get that. Actually, no, that's not that great. I was thinking, yeah, this one would be great. For the heal all night, heal six. I really like. Uh, okay, you know what? None of this is particularly important to me. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Uh, let's do this one so we can get the Extractor Servo Skull. So I have extra ammo, remember. And missions will give us plus one seed. I think that's just winning the mission gives us more seeds, which is very good. So I think we're going to do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. How long? 23 days. Ugh. And yeah, we have 39 more of those seeds. I don't think we're ever going to need more of them. Although... Uh, where do we make... Where, where, where are we making the... Really, armory? No? Where am I making purity seals? And yeah, we have no servitors to do anything here, so that's just gonna have an exclamation mark for a while. So, do we go to the barracks? Kajalan. Kajalan's back. So, war gear slot, equipment. So, I mean, there's a purity seal. Where do I build them? It said it was unlocked, but I don't know where. Yeah, no idea. Not a clue. Where where would I build them? I mean, is it in stratagems? No, oh, that just shows stratagems, funnily enough. Uh, I have no idea. 
Uh, I mean, just research. I, yeah, I have no idea. I know a clue. Can I help you, Commander? Uh, no, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea where we make purity seals. Not a clue. So, never mind. Yeah, alright. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see anywhere. Okay, so here we are. Okay, eliminate all seed carriers. We'll get 10 servitors out of it. Uh, new sort of chaos. So, necrosis. This is a strain of decay and rust. While the minions of Nurgle seem to gain unholy durability as they rot, the warp instability following strain will expose weaknesses in our defense. Favored mutations? Armor bonuses. That's annoying. Uh, favored warp surges? Negate attacks and defenses. Interesting. And we don't know what there's going to be here. And corruption level is so low, there's going to be almost no mutation. And uh, there are very few enemies. So, this should be a doddle. But, it's going to be a doddle that we're going to start next episode. I know, no no battle in this episode. Just a lot of story stuff, a lot of prep, a lot of exposition. But uh, we can get back to uh, the usual rhythm, okay? So it'll be a, a bat, you know, a mission and the follow-up um, sailing around and whatever. So um, yeah, that'll be the plan. Uh, win without mastercrafted ranged weapons. It's only ranged weapons, so actually I'm thinking, yeah, go on. Actually, let's do it. Uh, and we can we can add someone. Uh, Kai is it? Who's missing? Han is on a mission. Okay, but was Han on the last? I thought we had. No, it wasn't I. Like, okay, we did have Han. Okay, cool. So he's become a paladin. We'll bring uh, Aurelian Iolanthus on this mission instead. Iolanthus. And I'm actually going to swap out Kai for Cadulon. And I'm going to swap out Iolanthus for uh, Basque, or Tarn, let's go Basque, brilliant, and Storm I'm actually going to swap out as well for Van, who has a level up actually, hello Van, um, what do we want, do we want to get Hammer Hat nice and quickly, potentially, he's actually got a few ability points, quite a few, that's nice. Cybolt with ranged damage, or I think we might go all in with the teleporting. Nice and early. That seems good. Teleport strike, a bunch of other nonsense. Yeah, that works. Boop. I know, much like our other... Our other ones. Um, so I don't want to give him a Storm Bolter, because I don't want to use any ranged weapons. I could give him a... Does he have that equipped? No, he doesn't. Somebody else has the, the Halberd. But five damage looks good to me. Uh, he won't have first strike with that, though. But I think that's okay. So we'll take it off uh, Balan Tan. An indulgence, perhaps, but it will fortify the spirit of our brothers. That's what... Okay, I... I'd like to see what the upgrade is, actually. That'll cost two what? It costs two of these. That's what the different colours are. I see now. We can start upgrading. So we need to do all the green upgrades, because we have millions of those. <laughs> that's what we need. So let's see. No, nope, that's yellow as well. Falchions. No green. Oh my god, it, none of them green. I'm not sure any of the upgrades are green. Can any of them be green? I have no idea. Alright, armor types, let's give him one. Uh, grenades, sounds good. Now, war gear slot. I suppose grenades, right? We give him uh, the crazy grenades. Which means they'll actually do one damage. Which would be quite interesting. Um, let's give him frag grenades. You can just have that. I think that'll be good. Okay. And then we have Kajilan. Hello, Kajilan. Loadout. So he can't have a decent ranged weapon. But I do want to check that quickly. Yep, blue. This one. That's green. We could upgrade to have more ammo. Okay, there are some green upgrades, apparently. But, my god, not many, huh? Silencer, blue. Uh, shot ignores cover completely. That's very cool. Oh, that's disrupt shot that doesn't... Oh, actually, it does do damage. Yeah, no, it does do some damage. 
Alright, well, whatever. That's all good. Um, or is it? How are we doing on... Okay, we don't have any mastercrafted ranged weapons equipped. So let's just make sure we have enough mastercrafted melee weapons equipped. So let's give him the good force sword. Good. So this has the parry. Doesn't do stun damage, but does some good damage. So that's good news. And then war gear equipment. Let's give him the sanct uh, sanctic shard. So he can parry really nicely. He's got decent ranged weapon as well with a side cannon. I think that'll probably do. Actually, I suppose we give him better armor as well, right? Uh, grenades do more damage. Nah, let's give him, give him this one. Uh, I'll take this off uh, Vuldred Storm. Why don't you take it off Storm? Because this is power armor, not Terminator armor. Let's say, Storm can't wear Terminator armor. Of course he can. <laughs> let's equip this guy. Uh, so yeah, I get the extra focus. Yeah, I get extra focus. I think I might just equip this guy like Iolanthus, actually. Let's give him the Balshins instead. I want those crits. Uh, sadly, we can't upgrade any of this. That is so annoying how few things we can upgrade. Unbelievable. Okay, so they're all looking good. Uh, we have an apothecary over here. So, what on earth? There's a sword and a gun just sat there. Don't mind him. Don't mind him, everyone. All right, you can get additional armor. Love that, an apothecary. And ranged weapon. Uh, not ranged weapon. Melee weapon. Ah, now these seems a melee weapon, isn't it? That's handy. Can't equip it. Because that is on a mission. That is on a mission already. Fair enough. War gear. Yeah, the, the servo skulls probably the way to go. Alright, this looks like a good squad. I think this is good enough. This is good enough for me. And, uh, yeah. I think, I think this is all sorted. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.